There's one thing that I actually found in like I didn't sit with me very well is the fact that um, Lamb Lash was saying that the Archons are envious of the human race, right? But if you're an Archon and you have no emotional body, how can you feel envy? How can you I feel don't envy? think that it was so much that you have no emotional body and how can you feel envy, but I dig it. That, that's a good way okay. of saying it. I think... What it is is when they're presented with us, their reaction is one of destroy. Right. Okay. And so I want that as in acquisition, as in logic. I want that. But at the same time, I don't have any compassion towards it. I don't have any feeling of responsibility or love towards it. Yeah. Right? You know, it's not like they're making the farm a pleasant place. I mean, if they made the farm a pleasant place, wouldn't all of us be oblivious and excited to the fact? Yeah. Fucking dumb they are. Oh, no offence. <laughs> no, but seriously? No, I dig it. I dig it. Ah, wins out. <laughs> Isn't that the truth? Isn't that the truth? And so I think in that case it's like they can't even do that. And I think the only way to describe that experience is to say envy because they want what we've got but they also want to destroy it, which is what envy is. Jealousy is more like, oh, bitch, please. I think yeah. we've had this on another video, you know, where it's like, oh, I love your top. Envy's mm -hmm. like, I love your top. Oops, sorry, I just spilled something on it. Yeah, totally. No? Yeah, that and makes a lot of sense. I was just trying to sense. think in that moment what kind of emotion I had. It was more just it had to be out of my existence. I wanted it. But at the same, maybe that's all they can feel. Mm. But good point, good point. If they don't have an emotional body, I mean, what they do have, according to him, is Gaia's mind in the sense of her logic and reasoning and her understanding. Yeah. I don't have any of her compassion, etc. So does that mean she gave, okay, does, does that mean that she gave them basically dominantly like male aspects, like masculine aspects of logic? Well, only we, you, only we call it male and female. Do you think she does? No. Mm. Of course not. Ah, oh, see, now I feel like I'm being sexist by even calling it that. Sexist. Okay. Well, yeah, well, well, sexist, but it's just sort of like, Okay, no, that's my own judgment. I'm just going to, no. No, but I mean that's no age shit. Oh, it's feminine yes. thinking. Oh, it's masculine thinking. I mean the only way I can say feminine and masculine is by saying the masculine is more logical and the feminine doesn't need the logic. It can just be. So it's like if we want the orange or the bottle of wine or whatever, it's just here. Whereas the male mm -hmm. is like, okay, I'll either go to the shop, someone gives it to me. I said, you know what I mean? There's a logical sequence of events. Whereas the feminine's just yo baby. Mm -hmm. So I think in that sense, that's okay. sort of we can do the male, female. But yeah, I don't know. It's it's this is the thing when you unlearn all you know and you try and give it words, you ha tend to go back to old paradigms to explain mm -hmm. it. <sighs> Where the transition is. Yes, okay. I gotta gotta move beyond that, but I get that. Yeah. What's um, that you got? So, really? Well, it's kind of I you know, they're using old paradigm ideas into new paradigm stuff doesn't work. You know, you've mentioned it so many times and you're totally right with that. So I kind of want to move beyond that. I don't do hard, I like to because, kind of you know, we're using our what language yeah. we know. Never mind. Everybody just has to experience mm. it and then you know. <laughs> yeah. <laughs>